hello everybody welcome to my channel i hope you enjoyed the last video my name is olivia how you guys doing i hope you're doing great because i am doing great today we are going to talk about communication in relationships when you talk about communication in relationship we are talking about how to improve on our communication skills with the people we love with that person you care about with that person you cherish please sit back grab your red wine and enjoy this topic because this topic is one of the topics that is very delicate in every relationship when we talk about communication in relationship we are talking about the tips the skills the ways we are going to improve in how to communicate to our partners this topic is very important because this is a topic that affects mostly everybody in a healthy relationship that is why we brought it as an individual topic to talk about to discuss because sometimes you can be in a healthy relationship but your communication skill is what is causing some issues in our relationship first of all let's see what communication is all about communication allows you to explain to your partner what you are going through what you are experiencing how you are feeling and what your needs are but the art of communication is not only to meet only your needs alone don't get me wrong communication is all about you being connected to your partner understand each other talk to each other listen to each other that is what communication is all about when we talk about communication there are so many types of communication but we are going to take the four ways of communicating to our partners number one is verbal communication number two is non-verbal communication three is optic optical communication and number four is auditory communication so what do you understand by verbal communication this is when we engage in speaking to our partners this is when we sit down we talk to our partners we say what we want we say our needs you know everybody will express his or herself by speaking to each other that is verbal communication then non-verbal communication is whereby what we do speaks louder than what we speak number three is optical communication this is when we set our eyes on our partner our partner understands what we are talking about especially in the public you see some people they will look at each other they've already know what they are talking about that is communication in relationship then number four is auditory communication this is called listening communication what are the importance of communication communication allows you allows the partners to express their feelings their expectations and opinions so without communication how are you going to share your opinion how are you going to talk about your expectations how are you going to tell your partner what you like how will your partner know what you don't like number two you will see yourself being open to each other and being honest to each other number three communication brings respect when you communicate with your partner always it brings respect because when you're communicating with the person steady when you discuss with this person steady you will know what this person likes and what this person doesn't like some of you because you don't discuss because you don't communicate you don't even know when the play is going to an extreme when the joke 
is going to an extreme. When you are embarrassing your partner in the public, when you are even embarrassing your, your partner at home, you don't know when to stop. So, communication commands respect. We have to try. Number four, it avoids misunderstanding. It avoids misunderstanding. Number five, it builds trust. Because you are talking with this person steady, you see that you can't even hide anything from this person. So it builds that trust. If somebody comes to tell you, oh, your partner is doing this thing, your partner is doing this thing, you will be like, wait, don't worry. Thank you very much for telling me this, that I'm going to ask him first before I will react. That is trust because because you trust this person to that level. So you don't even believe what any other person is talking about. Communication brings support and love. When you communicate, you will see where this person needs support. You will go out of your way to support this person. Because without love, you cannot support this person. Communication brings love. Communication makes you to support someone you love. Yeah, of course, it's not an easy task, but we have to. As I'm talking to you, I'm equally talking to myself, like we have to try. Communication is so difficult. It's one of the things that is very difficult in a relationship. Let us try as much as possible to see if we can put this, if we can add this to our, our relationships. And the next one we are going to talk about is the rules of communication. Number one, you have to be honest with each other. Not when you are communicating, you, you, this person will be talking about another thing, this person will be talking about another thing, or you'll be bragging to your partner, oh, I have this, I have this, meanwhile, you don't have it. You are not honest. You have to be honest with your partner. You have to make your partner understand that your yes is yes, your no is no. Don't be that partner that when you are communicating A, the other person is reasoning B. Because some of us, we are like that. We are communicating A and we are doing another thing. We are doing C, not even B. It's not telling together. Let us try as much as possible to be honest in our communication. Number two, most of us are doing this. I've done it before. Don't discuss your important issue on the text message. Sometimes you don't even know how to address it. Especially if you don't have a good command of English language. You see yourself, you are making errors. You see yourself, you are being insulting. Even when you are writing, you see yourself being rude. And honestly, it's not what you are planning to it's not the way you want to place it. Let us try not to discuss our important issues on text message. Let us sit down and talk about it one-on-one. -on -one. Number three, let us not bring important issues when we are high, when we are angry, when we are always crying. Cry, cry, baby. You want to talk about important issue. We are crying. I used to tell people, see, I've never seen where cry used to solve issues. I have to tell you out of experience, like crying does not solve issues. Let me just tell you, I have to like tell you, I I'm telling you the truth. Crying does not solve any issue. Like when you want to talk about something, don't like start crying and crying and crying. It has never solved an issue. And that is what I'm trying to build even in my children. I used to tell them, see, if you want anything from me, like, talk to me. Don't come and use cry and think I'll give it to you. Discuss with me. Don't cry. Don't use anger. Talk to me. I will listen to you. If it's something I want to do, I will tell you, see, I'm going to do it. If it's something I don't want to do, I'll tell you I don't want to do it. That is the same thing. With relationship you sometimes we think 
when we cry like that we are going to get what we want but it doesn't work that way another thing is anger so let's try as much as possible when we are discussing we should not even bring anger issues we should not even bring that our emotional theory way of life every time you are tearing apart try as much as possible when you are discussing of course it's always difficult but let's try as much as possible and boss up and talk about issues like adults because it's only adults that are in a relationship not kids we have to sit down talk about things and get a result out of it then the next one is settle conflicts with undertone of love settle your conflict with undertone of love yeah there must be quarrel so each time you're having quarrel please the best thing is because you love each other because you care for each other because you so much cherish this person you have to settle it talk to this person tell this person sweet things approach the issues and say okay see we are going to look into this issue but let us calm ourselves down first we are going to visit this issue you see the person will be at least will be calm that is how to communicate in a relationship when you're having quarrel you should know that this person you care for this person this person there must be something you see in this person before you say please let us be in a relationship so that one thing that you saw in this person should equally bring you down should equally bring you closer anytime you're having quarrel you call this person see, i will discuss this issue with you but let us like calm down now as two adults you see yourself being together and everything will fall into place another thing is when two partners are discussing let us try and avoid that phrase of i you it's always like you are selfish let us always talk about like we we have to next one we are going to discuss is what are those things we are not supposed to do when we are communicating with our partners the first one is criticism this is whereby you are discussing with your partner and your partner is always seeing fault in what you're saying it's not seeing anything good in you that is very wrong some people when you sit down you want to talk to them oh partner sit down i want to talk to you the first thing the person will do is what are you going to discuss about is it not that rubbish you normally talk about like the pers this person has not even talked to you you've already started criticizing the person you don't see anything good in that person that in the night you will go to the bed with this person that when that person is talking you don't see anything good in this person you always criticize maybe the person is trying to tell you i have this idea of business i have this idea of how we are going to train our children of how you are going to improve in your job or how you are going to make your business to bloom and you don't even want to hear the first thing you are going to say is that is it not that rubbish you always say you've already started criticizing this person you cannot sit down and talk with this person but you love this person sometimes i wonder how can you love somebody and you are criticizing this person please let us try as much as possible to to remove criticism in our relationship honestly that's why i always say communication is not going to make you to break up your relationship of course to an extent it can but you know sometimes it's the way some people are being broke up they don't even know how to communicate so it's something that you have to build in one by one sometimes you some people say it's a constructive criticism who likes you to criticize him or her nobody likes you to criticize whatever he or she is doing is is really bad like like listen to your partner don't stop criticizing one another it's wrong 
Number two is attitude. Let us try and remove attitude when we are talking to our partner. Like when you are talking to your partner, you just be acting strange. You just be acting as if like that person that is talking to you doesn't even have brain. Like that person like is, is below your legs. Like the person you are acting up is your partner. I always say it in the night. You will go to the bed with the person. Then you are forming for this person. You don't want to listen to this, but you are talk something. I, I have somewhere I'm going to. Talk. I, I need to go to the salon and polish my nail. Talk. Talk. I have to go to the office because some, I, I have to do some work in the office. Can you just talk? Like, how can you? You want to discuss with somebody and you are bringing attitude problem please next one is defensiveness defensiveness is that situation whereby this person can never believe or accept that he or she is at fault but always in that defensive mode defensive mechanism there is nothing you are doing that is wrong you don't you can never accept the fact that you're wrong how can you are, are you jesus christ of nazareth like how can you say you are not wrong like why can't you accept the fact that you are wrong before you want oh sit down we want to talk about something and if it's that thing that happened i am always right you don't know what you're talking about i say you must do this thing like this you have to do this one like this. Have you sat down and digest? Or you feel because you, you are on top, because you are maybe you are the breadwinner, or maybe you, uh, you are beautiful, so this person cannot do without you. Or maybe you are because you are productive in this relationship, so the next person should be feeling inferior that person is the person that is always full of faults so you are that innocent that superior being how can you say you love somebody you are in that defensive mood all the time how do you think the, the communication skill in your relationship will work like you see your partner oh, let me not even talk about this person because he's always right. He's, he's Mr. Right. He, she's Mrs. Right. And she doesn't like anybody telling her anything. So let us leave it like that. You people will keep living like that. And you think the relationship is because you people are staying for years. Because of that, you are in a healthy relationship. You are in a rubbish relationship. Let me tell you. That person is just being there because he, there is nothing to do. Maybe you, there is children involved. You see the person just being there because of the kids. Or maybe the culture does not allow a split. That is why that person is in that relationship. Not because of any other thing. The last but not the least is contentment. Contentment. <laughs> Contentment. This one is a long grammar. Me, I will call it see finish. See finish. Your partner calls you. Let us sit down and discuss. You will be like, oh, what? What are you going to discuss? Is it not you? It's not you. What are you going to discuss? Do you have anything in that your brain to discuss? Maybe you see a very good restaurant. Your partner will be like, oh, let's go and eat in this right. I like their soup. Your innocent partner will be like, don't worry. When we get home, we are going to make, I'm going to make you a very nice soup. You'll be like, what? Is it not that nonsense soup you used to make? I said, I want to eat here. Or let me say, for instance, contentment is like, you are going for a party and your partner you'll be like i'm going to dress up this way you'll be like don't don't, don't dress that rubbish you used to dress like like how can you say you love some how can you you say you love somebody and you are seeing finish 
the person was on his or her own. Now you are seeing finish. You don't want the person to talk. You'll be like, this thing you are doing, you are doing rubbish. Can you afford this? You like good things of life. Can you afford it? You always like seeing that person like the person cannot go far. You always in that as like when you are discussing with the person, you don't even allow the person to express this or her opinion. Please allow people to express themselves. Please, if you are in this with these four categories, please try and change. Let us try and change. It's necessary. Like let us boost our, our relationship. That healthy relationship. Let this be the best relationship ever. Please. Then how are we going to make our relationship for it to be flourishing? For it to be moving like heaven. Like when you when you remember your partner, you'll be like, oh, like when you remember your partner, you'll be like, oh, whenever your partner says, oh, oh, sweetheart, or honey, or you know, whatever you could call yourself. Like we are going or we have something to discuss about. Like you'll be so happy. You, your mind will not be like, oh. What is this person going to talk to me about? I don't know what this person is going to say. Your mind should be like, oh, oh, honey, where are we going to sit? Where are we going to meet? Where are we going to sit and discuss? What are the, the things, the way you are going to do these things so that it will be in that way? Number one is transparency. Try and be transparent with your partner. Show yourself to your partner. Let your partner know you're in and out. Like, show him that, look, uh, show him or her, this is all of me. I don't have any other person in me. I am who I am. If you are black, show that you're black. If you are red, show that you're red. If you are blue, show that you're blue. Don't be showing that you are red and you are black. Or you are black. Meanwhile, you are white. Like, show who you are. Discuss about everything. Don't leave anything behind. Honestly. You, you see it going. Don't intimidate each other. Show yourself. And you see the relationship will be like, oh, oh, you know, you will be happy about it. Then number two is accommodating. Try and accommodate your partner now. It's only on the bed that you'll be accommodating. Only on the bed you'll just be showing up. Honey, you know, you know, for some men, eh, it's only on the bed they know how to discuss. Like, it's only on the bed when they climb that bed, they, you see them, they've turned to pastors. They've turned to born again. They can be promising you the word. They will, you will tell them, I see. You tell me, the oh, others honey, sweetheart, I'm sorry. Like, why can't you bring that thing on the bed and bring it in reality? Like, seriously. Like, try and accommodate your partner. Like, you are the one that saw this person. You saw this person and if you don't like this about your partner, you call your partner and say, see, I don't like this thing about you. Change. Like I discussed in the last video. Discuss about it and implement it because some of you, you will say, Sweetheart, I don't like the way you're dressing, I don't like the way you are putting on that clothes thing. I am not bringing money, I am not giving that person money to change. You're only just to say it. What the person is going to cut his hands up to go and buy it when you accommodate and you make a decision, you implement it, it's part of it. And the next one we are going to talk about is authentic. Let us try to be authentic. Why can't you be authentic to your partner? Why are you like, you, you, you know that you don't have money to buy gold. And you'll be promising your partner, I will buy gold for you. I will buy silver for you. I will buy this one for you. Why can't you be authentic? Like, if it's coke you have, you buy for your partner, and you people will drink it and be happy. There's some of you, you, you will hike yourself. You will just put yourself in that high, put yourself in that place that when you are falling, you will just fall on the floor. You will promise somebody heaven and earth. 
when the time comes, you will start that defensive mechanism. Because it's not, the person is not asking you, that thing you promised me, why am I not seeing it? You will not put yourself in that, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Please, let's try to be authentic. Especially when we are communicating to our partners. Please, let's try and do that. So that is where we are going to come to an end of this video. I hope you enjoy these little tips on communication in relationships. On the next video, we are going to talk about toxic relationship and self-love. Toxic relationship and self-love. So please, subscribe like share and comment and please tell your friends and family to come and watch this video see you guys thank you my name is olivia chiku bye